Hey guys, welcome to Define Agile. This is Anatoly, where we're talking everything Agile and Agile tools. Today, we have a Jira tutorial where we're gonna compare Scrum projects versus Kanban projects to see what is actually the difference. Before we do, I have three things for you. Thing number one, if you guys wanna learn Jira in about one day, things like permissions, workflows, groups, you can do all of that by clicking on the link in the top right corner, get to my course, and you learn Jira in about eight hours. The second thing is if you guys are stuck and you need my help one-on-one with me, you can get time in my calendar, go to the link in the top right corner and I'll help you with Agile, Jira, anything you want. I'm here to help you. You can schedule one hour or more, whatever works for you. It will get right into my calendar. I'll have a meeting with you and we'll talk one-on-one. -on -one. And the third thing is if you guys are a company that is looking for Agile help, Jira help, hiring developers, reviewing work, IT consultancy. I'm here to help you. Please go to defineagile.com. There's a form, contact me, or you can send me an email, defineagile.com at gmail.com, and we can talk and see how I can help your business. Now let's get to the core of this video, which is what's the difference between Scrum projects and Kanban projects and how to use them. In Jira, you can create two types of projects. One will be Kanban template, one will be a Scrum template. So if you go to a projects tab, if you click view all projects, you can create a project. And from there you see you have Kanban and you have Scrum. So you can create one of those easily. I have them already created, so let us go and see the difference. Kanban. If you go to Kanban project, you will see that usually there is no even thing called backlog. I have enabled it and uh, there's a video how to enable it in my channel, but usually you don't have any backlog. All your backlog will be in a one place. Kanban essentially is just a board from to do to done and you have some specifics for Kanban. For example, Kanban does not like queuing. It doesn't like we have too many issues in a certain columns. So it will allow you to set minimum and maximum for those columns. So right now this one is yellow because, well, I don't have any anything there. If I move it there, then it will become normal. So the same is I have more than two issues in my column, then it will become red. So these are the things for the Kanban. So Kanban is pretty straightforward. Also Kanban have different reports. If you go to report section, you'll be able to see cumulative flow diagram, control charts, cycle time. Those things that are for Kanban, you won't see things like sprint reports because there are no sprints in Kanban. So Kanban is a very schemed down version. When, when should you use Kanban board? Well, if you don't have a set iterations, which is called sprints, if you have changing priorities, if tickets just come and you want to complete them as they go, then Kanban project might be the best version for you. Now let's look at Scrum projects really quickly. I have some projects that are Scrum. If I go to them, I go. This is one of my Scrum projects. Well, the board is different, but the essentially this board will be similar. When you start, it will have to do in progress and done. I just added more columns. There are videos about how to do that. It's not so important. What important is that Kanban has things like backlog. Right away, you have backlog. And let's go to the backlog. Backlog is also have things called sprints. So you can create sprints, which you cannot do in Kanban. And sprints are iterations. Let's say your team wanna work in two week sprints. They wanna complete certain amount of work in a sprint and you will be able to create tickets in a backlog and move those tickets to that sprint. So we're creating a test to uh, ticket and we can just move them to a sprint. So if let's click, click confirm here uh, just for the sake of this. Um, so it has sprints. You can create sprints. It also have active sprints instead of just Kanban board and active sprints is everything that you start and stop. You have a time frame. The sprint could be two weeks, for example, or four weeks. And then active sprint is only tickets that are part of this sprint. Whereas Kanban will show you everything. Your backlog essentially in Kanban is your board. Whereas here you have separate backlog and separate sprints. You see it says shared sprint test two, which will only show you everything that in the current sprint. So that's a big difference. And then when you go to reports, you'll also see different reports. 
you'll have things like burn down chart, which is something uh, allows you to see how are you moving through, uh, through sprint. You have burn up charts, you have sprint reports, you have velocity charts. Scrum has also things called story points where you can estimate your tickets and see how much you can com how much you complete, how much you move from sprint to sprint. So all of those reports are available for you in a Scrum project, but do are not available for you in a Kanban project. This is a big overview of Scrum versus Kanban from a Jira standpoint. We did not go into what are uh, Kanban versus Scrum. I do have video on that as well, just to talk about general What's the difference between Kanban and Scrum? Here we're talking about the Jira. How does Jira interpret Kanban and Scrum and what does it allow you to do? If you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. If you like this video, I ask you for two things. Please like and subscribe because it will allow us to spread it to more and more people. And thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you next one. Bye-bye.